What's going on, everybody? Hope all of us well. The stash stock party is not here yet. That's very interesting. Let's see who's here. Charles Dutta Gibson, what's happening? Hit the spot, Lisa Maria. You guys are early. That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to start on time. The stash stock party. Make sure y'all remind me to record the show. I didn't record this pre stuff. How was your day so far? I don't know why the stash stock party is not here. But we will be live and we'll be talking some tech news today. Um, let me see if I can add this story in here real quick. She says, welcome back. I love it. <laughs> just one week, Lisa Maria. Just one week. That's all it was. Just one week. Golly, you act like I was gone for a whole month. <laughs> just one week. One week. That's all. That's all it was. It was just one week, Lisa Maria. <laughs> welcome back. I love it. Uh, we will be live in one minute and 40 seconds. She says, start recording then. Come on, record the thing. <laughs> I will, Lisa. I got you. Just remind me one more time. <laughs> I'll press the record button at the one minute mark. Oh, did you get your adult beverage? Go get your glass of wine, your ice house. I know Hit the Spot got hers. Lisa Maria, what you drinking on tonight? Charles Zetta, go ahead and get you something. We're waiting on some other people to join us. Hopefully they'll join us uh, at 8 o'clock. Okay, I will hit the record button now, okay? I'm recording. <laughs> Don't forget to get your drinks. <laughs> I have mine. Do you have yours? The stash stock party is not live. I don't know why. I guess they're really going to make us wait to 8 o'clock today on Wednesday. They've been giving it to us early. My man got his crown royal. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, my man Roosevelt said, I got crown royal today. That's what's up. There it is. everybody hope all is well with you guys my name is Corey Sanders I go by the name of tall boy and we are here to talk tech news uh, for the ones who are watching us for the first time um, this is how we simplify tech in a language that you understand we're here to break it down and hopefully you will walk away being a little bit more knowledgeable in the tech community or just understanding what's going on so please tell a friend welcome somebody and just say hey come on over and learn with us I, I get it Tech goes over our heads uh, and I love it. So since I love it, why not break it down? And hopefully you will be like, hey, I didn't know that this was really going on in the world. And uh, we're just here to simplify it. That's just pretty much all it is. Um, so with that being said, I know we got some people that are here. So we got uh, hit the spot that is saying hello. Um, Lisa Maria is definitely messing with me talking about welcome back. Um, Roosevelt Robinson, he said he's got his uh, Crown Royal, so he has his adult beverage. I love it, man. Um, is it with a chaser? Um, Lisa Maria said absolutely water. 
Um, hey, Sammy, what's going on? Uh, Sammy's here. He had an awesome conference where I spoke at two weeks ago um, at his conference and um, basically how to interview, mastering your interviews. So he was there. Um, let's see. Hit the spot. Ten oh six says it better not be water. That is so hilarious. Um, let's see. Uh, he says he likes the new countdown timer. That's what's up, Sammy. And then uh, the best time to watch Tall Boy is at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I definitely appreciate it. All right, guys. So for the ones who do not know, we have our stash stock party. Um, let me basically break it down to the newcomers that are here watching for the first time. You have one hour. If you have never invested or if you don't know much about investing and you would like to invest, stash stock um, has an opportunity where you can invest in stash or, or excuse me, a piece of stock. It's not a full stock, but it's a piece of incremental stock. And you can literally own a piece of it if you sign up. If you look in the description of the YouTube channel, it will um, say Stash Stock Party. You can use my code. And if you use my code, then you can get, I think it's 20 or $25 off um, when you start investing and putting some money in it. But as far as the party is concerned, you literally um, get it absolutely free. It's no charge to you. And um, just owning a piece of Eventbrite today, you have literally until 9 p.m. to own this stash stock. It's absolutely free. You just log in, create an account, um, and then you just sign up for the stash stock party. And then they will send you messages every Wednesday and one day out of the weekend where you have one hour when they send you that text message where you can literally own a piece of whatever the uh, the product offering is of that day. So today is Eventbrite. So if you would like to own it and you would like to have a piece of it, it's absolutely yours for free. Um, just sign up and there it is. All right. Um, with that being said, um, this week in tech, um, I don't know if I have this in my other section, but I will just lay it out right here. Um, give me one second. There we go. Um, nope, that's not it. Okay, well, I had where they had Willow Pump. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of Willow Pump. Um, this week in tech, Willow Pump, let's see if I can get that here. Okay, let me see if I can copy that. I thought it was already in the system, but it's not. No worries. We'll just add it real quick. Willow Pump is the breast pump um, for ladies um, who are um, who have newborns. They, um, I met them out at the Consumer Electronics Show, and when I met them, I thought it was a pretty cool gadget. Um, and what I mean by that is instead of you walking around with a, well, excuse me, not walking around, but going into a room with a breast pump, you could literally... Um, walk around with a portable breast pump and now they have it set up now to where well i can't get the article to pull up the way i wanted it to pull up so i'll just let you know willow pump if you're interested google it if you know somebody that has a baby a newborn um look up willow pump and it says willow launches a new cord free smart breast pump at a lower price so that's the week in tech and the article will not come up but just if you're interested, Google Willow Pump and it will come up. And uh, basically, instead of it being uh, around $4.99, they have a new model that retails at $3.29. So if you're looking for a, a gift item, um, it's called Willow Go. And basically, it's a portable breast pump. And you literally just put it into... Um, uh, you just put it into your bra for the ladies who have newborns and you can literally pump the milk and it literally will pump it into bags and then you're good to go from there. All right. So uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get the article to pop up the way it should pop up. But um, if you're interested, by all means, feel free to look up Willow Pump and or Google Willow Go and uh, see if that is something that you're interested in for someone that may have a newborn or that um, is looking for a gift idea, all right? So if you're interested, by all means, check it out. Um, like I said, I met them at CES. Um, they came out in 2020, um, and I think it's just one of those uh, technologies that for women, 
you know, this is something to where you don't have to be confined to a room to be able to do milking the baby or whatever the case may be. So it basically says the Willow Go offers more milk capacity than the other generations of the Willow and uh, gives you about 14 ounces. And that is a uh, considerably heftier load than the Willow 3.0, which can only hold four ounces of milk per bag um, for a total of eight ounces. So basically you have two breast pumps. You literally can put them um, in both, uh, both sides of the bra and it will pump the milk out. And then um, basically um, I think some of your insurance companies will, they say more than 20% of Willow pumps were purchased with insurance in 2021 and basically offering Willow Go an affordable price point as low as $150 with most insurance plans. So if, if you have insurance, this could be something that you might be interested in. All right. Um, yeah. So Willow Pump. That's right. Go look up Willow Pump. And uh, I interviewed the company back in 2020, um, a solid company. Um, I was very impressed with them. And I think that uh, it's a great gift idea for anybody that has a newborn. And um, that's pretty much it. Let me see. Um, my man Roosevelt uh, says he's got the crown peach on the rocks. That's what's up. And um, let's see. Um, Oh, hit the spot says, Oh no, I don't need that. I know people that do. So there you go. And, um, there you go. So if you're interested, Willow pump, it's called the Willow go. It offers you more and it's actually less, or it's a little bit cheaper than the actual, um, than the actual, uh, original or the second version. Okay. The Willow 3.0. So basically if you're interested, you get it a little bit cheaper. All right. Um, our first article of the day. Let's see what do we have here. Hertz. That's right. Hertz. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about this or not, but um, Hertz says it will purchase 65,000 electric vehicles. The way gas prices are going, guys, you guys already know electric vehicles may be the way to go. All right. So just think about this as, um, as, uh, you go into, uh, the year. Um, I rented a Tesla back in last month in February and, uh, was it February, late February, early March, I rented up Tesla and it was an awesome experience. Um, and I rented it from Hertz and they're offering, um, What's the wording I'm looking for? They're offering uh, uh, free supercharges to where if you rent a Tesla, you get the, the charging for free. So you're basically paying for the rental, but you don't have to worry about paying to charge the vehicle. And I think it goes every 250 miles before you have to recharge and you find a supercharger station um, and then it charges for free. So basically you're renting the car with no gas and you're not paying for the charge. So the only Hertz is doing that. And right now, um, Hertz has basically said or made the announcement that they plan to purchase um, 65,000 electric vehicles um, from Polestar, a sub brand of Volvo and its Chinese parent company, Geely. Um, basically, they already purchased 100,000 Teslas for their fleet and is a bid to electrify its global feet. The new vehicles will be acquired over a period of five years and Polestar vehicles will uh, be available in Europe in spring in 22, um, spring of 22, 2022 and in North America and Australia in late 2022. Um, they won't talk about how much they put into it as far as uh, what the investment is, but um, if they didn't get any de uh, discounts uh, towards it, you're looking at Hertz doing about $3.18 billion, basically, if they paid the full price for all 65,000 vehicles. Um, basically, Hertz re has reported of having around 500,000 vehicles in its global fleet last year. And the rental car company escaped bankruptcy last year after the pandemic and an unsustainable amount of debt nearly devastated the business. And if you guys know anything about what was going on with Hertz last year or over the last since the pandemic, they were really struggling. They were selling off their fleet. And then when the pandemic pretty much wrapped, um, they didn't have any vehicles. 
So that's why it's so hard to rent vehicles right now. And that's why the pricing is going up. So now I guess because they sold off their fleet, going out to the consumer electronics show, all you saw was um, electric vehicles and, you know, basically autonomous vehicles. And what I mean by autonomous, I mean that self-driving cars. Um, so that was what I saw at CES. And then all of a sudden we come back from CES. And the next thing you know, you look up, gas prices have skyrocketed. So you can plug these vehicles up at your home, um, at a charging station, at their local Target, which is where the superchargers are. I'm now starting to see them at the grocery stores. Um, they have them at the local Kroger in my area. Um, and then they also have them in other shopping plazas. So you literally just charge them up. And then I think it's like 10 cents um, per um, per minute or something like that, or per, uh, the voltage or something. By the time it's all done, it's like $10 by the time you get through at a supercharger. So it was like nine or $10 just to charge it up for 250 miles. $10 versus what we're paying for in gas prices. Now, I think this is something that you might want to be interested in looking into. So I'm not saying for you to go out and buy a $49,000 vehicle, but if you're thinking about renting, why not go with something like this? Um, Hertz now plans to uh, electrify nearly all of its roughly 500,000 cars and vans with the Tesla and the Polestar orders compromising a significant first chunk. Um, it basically says it will initially order the Polestar 2 um, through though that could grow, though that could grow to include the company's other models. Um, Polestar, which started out as a performance sub brand, um, it started out as a sub brand. Uh, Volvo has emerged as one of the more interesting EV companies on the market. And the company, which is jointly owned by Volvo and the Volvo, Volvo parent company, Geely, um, basically said they plan to go public by merging with special purpose acquisitions company or SPAC. So this is something to think about if you're thinking about renting a vehicle. Think about going electric on your next rental. Um, basically, uh, it is on, Polestar has only released two vehicles so far, and that's the 155,000 hybrid coupe, which is the Polestar one and the, and the two. And um, basically, they're going to do an SUV model, which is the Polestar SUV in 2022. Um, and then maybe a compact uh, SUV, um, which is the Polestar 4 in 2023, and the 5, which is a sports sedan in 2024. Um, so your thoughts, what do you guys think about this? Um, yeah, she said, she said, is that the company? <laughs> Actually, it is, believe it or not. She said, is that the company that was having you arrested for stealing their car after you paid for it? That's hurts. Yeah, so they have, they're doing damage control right now. So, yeah, you rent the vehicle, you return the vehicle, and then once you return it, next thing you know, you look up, and it's like six months later, you're getting pulled over saying that they have a warrant for your arrest, and then now you have to deal with that. So they have uh, a, they have a PR nightmare that's going on right now in, um, in-house. Um, I hope that I don't have that issue because I primarily rent from Hertz, and... Um, I think that this is one of those situations where um, as long as I don't have an issue, um, I think we'll be all right. But um, but my thing is make sure you have your receipts. And, you know, what I do is I take a copy and I take a copy of my receipt and I have the phone to where I show I have the copy of the receipt in my phone. So if anything ever happened, I at least know that, you know, I'm covered. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> hit the spot. Say it right. Um, I'm getting me a Tesla. Okay. Well, go ahead, Miss Tesla. I'm not mad at it. Go ahead, get the Tesla. Um, it's well worth it. I mean, like I said, the Tesla is a beautiful vehicle and, um, I, I, I yeah, it's a beautiful vehicle. That's all I can say. Sammy is wow. So what, what are you wowing over? Uh, Sammy, is it the Tesla or the Polestar or is it that they were uh, arresting people? Um, uh, after they return the vehicle. Uh, <laughs> guess who we have in the house? We got my man, James Hicks, saying, I love me some Tammy Chambers. Say it again. He wants a, She wants a Tesla, James. 
she gonna get that Tesla. I, 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 I truly believe, you know, um, she's gonna get that Tesla, and I'm not mad at her. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's gonna get that Tesla. Um, yeah. Um, any thoughts on this as we discuss about what Hertz? I mean, what Hertz is doing with electric vehicles? Um, just think about it. Um, next time you're out and you want to rent a vehicle, just see what the pricing is. And if it falls within your budget, by all means, jump on it. Um, I, I think it's worth it. And I think uh, that's something that you guys might or uh, should look into, if that makes any sense. Um, I see you guys are in the comments checking each other out. So I definitely appreciate it. If you guys have any comments, by all means, feel free to um, feel free to um what is it um share the show with everybody and uh, let them know what's going on and as I, I look for this next article let's see there we go our next article for the evening is um let's see here we go southwest airlines they're doing something very spectacular um really spectacular and i think that you guys may want to pay attention to what they have going on in their world um basically you can cancel a flight and you can actually transfer the credit to someone um as opposed to you actually um having to keep it if that makes sense um i, I don't know if i'm saying that the right way okay there we go uh, let's see where we at. Yeah, we go. So basically, the way the article reads is Southwest, Southwest airline passengers sitting on travel credits from a canceled trip frequently have the airline ask, or they ask the airline if they can use them for use them for a ticket for someone else. And you know the answer primarily is no. And uh, little do you know, um, you know, you're just stuck with it. And then you normally have about one year to use that flight. And if you don't use it, then guess what? You lose the, you lose that travel credit or you you lose that flight. Um, so basically, um, Southwest is about to change the policy for a small nominal fee. Um, the airline unveiled details of its long awaited uh, fare and uh, basically uh, it's a new fare category and basically it's it releases sometime um, within the next two weeks i want to say it's at the start of the second quarter um, basically this is their new fare since 2007 and then it's a key perk with the ability to transfer flight credits uh, which call which southwest calls it travel funds and basically it's called want to get away plus the option will be included let me see if i can scroll this down for you guys a little bit um there we go it's called southwest getaway plus and basically the option will be included for travelers who buy a new ticket type to be called the getaway plus which will be pricier than the current cheaper ticket which is the want to get away and the airline is offering it and other perks in a bid to get travelers to pay more for their ticket. <sighs> let's see how it works. Um, let's see. Southwest did not disclose how much more travelers will dis uh, generally pay for a want to get away plus ticket than a one away than a want to get away ticket, except to call the increase modest all right so we don't know exactly what that fee actually may be but uh basically below is the new tier function that they have here and i'm gonna see if i can get this to pull up so we can uh look at what it offers um the transfer option is also being added to the airline's priciest tickets call anytime and business select but those tickets are already refundable so the benefit really isn't that serious um, basically, this is the tier function here. You have the want to get away, which is the regular, and then you have the want to get away plus, and then you have the anytime, and then you have your business select. So the only difference is if you want to do a same day standby list, if you are on the want to get away plus, you can say, all right, I have a 
two o'clock flight and I want to get uh, on a 12 o'clock flight, you can jump on that flight if you get this one away, want to get away plus as opposed to the one to get away. You have to pay the fare difference if you go that way. Um, and then if you want to do a confirmed change, you have to pay the fare difference. Whereas with the one to get away plus, um, basically you can literally same day confirm a change. You can literally change it with no problems. And then also you can transfer the flight credit for rapid reward members. So if someone has a rapid rewards account, if they have the one away getaway plus the anytime or the business select, they can literally transfer that credit. Your flight got canceled. You can transfer that credit to someone else and is absolutely yours uh, or the other person's once you transfer it. But if you buy the cheapest fare, uh, you're not going to be able to do it. It's only going to stay in your name. All right. So that's really the new functions with the one to get away. Plus, as you can see with the anytime and the business select, um, they have quite naturally um, the ticket is refundable. Um, they give you priority and express lanes and then you get the automatic check in if that makes sense. So um, you don't get that with the one to get away plus feature, but you get it with the uh, you get it. You don't get it with the one to get away plus feature or the one to get away. So hopefully this is uh, something that you guys can see. Um, like I said, I went to Southwest Airlines uh, website today and I did not see this technology on or on the website um the new fares have not rolled out just yet but it is coming soon all right um she says can this happen for the trip to barcelona so yeah so basically anywhere that you southwest airlines flies to you can literally apply this ticket if it goes to wherever southwest it flies to Southwest does not fly to Barcelona, but if you have to get to New York, DC, Boston, Chicago, or wherever you are to get to your um, destination as the one way from Bar uh, from America to Barcelona, you have to fly. So from Atlanta, you would fly to Boston, New York, Chicago, or um, one of the other uh, DC. You could literally say, all right, from Atlanta to Bar um, one of those cities, I'm on Southwest. If something happens, I can transfer that flight credit over to you or you can transfer it over to me. All right. Um, let me see. What else do they have? Um, she said, of course, there's a fee. Well, they're trying to make money and they're trying to find creative ways without. Remember, Southwest Airlines is the only airline um, that does not charge for bags. So, I mean, they're trying to keep it and still stay authentic. Right. So with them still staying authentic, they're just trying to find creative ways to keep you um, without charging for bags. So I think this is a good plan, especially with the fact that you can transfer the flight credit over, right? So I can't make the flight. I want you, Lisa Maria, to use the flight, to, you know, for a future travel, because I know I'm not going to make it or give it to a gift it to a family member. Why not? I, I think that that makes sense. Um, hey, Mama D, how you doing? Um, hope all is well. Big draw um, if it would have been offered you priority check-in. Interesting, James. Um, if they offered you priority check-in. Well, you got to think. You get the same day standby list, James. And you also get the same day confirmed change. And then you can also transfer the flight. So the question is, how much more is the one to get away versus the one to get away plus, if that makes any sense? That's the million dollar question. What's the price di difference? Is it a $20 difference? Is it an $80 difference? Is it a $100 difference? You know, so that's that's the key in all of this. And I don't think that no one knows what that is right now. Um, it says their anytime fare is still their best value. Yeah, but, you know, James, when I purchase tickets, I know that I'm going. So and I also know that I have a year with the one to get away. I know that. If I can't make that flight, then I'm good for at least a year. So, yeah, you get the early bird check in included as opposed to paying a fee. But I mean, I just, you know, you just set your alarm. So, I mean, there's really not much outside of, let's see, you get a automatic check in where they do it for you. Um, and then the priority and express lanes, the ticket is refundable. 
I, I don't know, James. Uh, I still think Want to Get Away is still, you know, I think that's hot. You know, I'm sorry. I, that's just me. Um, let's see. James said, uh, say that again for the people in the back of the room. Southwest don't charge you for your primary bags. That's a hundred dollars savings right there. You're right. They're trying to save money or excuse me, he's trying to find ways to make more money as opposed to, um, charging for those bag fees. And I think that's the one key feature that Southwest offers that no other airline does. And that's a key perk. I I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, sounds like a great idea. So, I mean, like I said, I just think that this is something that if you guys are interested, look at Southwest airlines, think about if you're going to go to a different city, um, or you want to go visit family, friends. I know we're starting to get back out and start traveling again. So with that being said, this is one of those things, um, that this could be a, a, a good situation looking at their, all, uh, their new want to get away plus. I think that that's something that is uh, quite interesting. Um, let me see. There's also in this article, it says, can you catch, um, an earlier flight on Southwest? So with uh, the new Want to Get Away Plus ticket, it will include another key perk that the airline says the will entice travelers to buy up, and it's the ability to switch to a different flight on the day of travel at no cost if the seats are available, confirmed, or standby. Um, the airline's Want to Get Away ticket offers same-day changes when available, but passengers must pay any fair difference, which can be significant at the last minute. So, like I said, if you want to get away um, on an earlier flight, quite naturally, you're going to have to pay that fair difference. But that's something that's offered. So, um, with the want to get a play, uh, want to get away uh, fair. Um, what about the early bird check in for Southwest? Um, I think that they also offer with that situation here. The coming ticket changes announced Thursday were limited to the unveiling of the Want to Get Away Plus, a name that Southwest included um, in customer surveys when it was researching the new fare categories. Um, the airline anytime tickets have new features, most notably the addition of the Southwest early bird check-in. And that early bird check-in uh, gives travelers better boarding position in Southwest's unique open seating system. Um, so for the ones who don't know about Southwest, it's first come, first serve. You sit wherever you want to sit and uh, they can charge anywhere from 15 to $25 per person per flight. So remember, Southwest only does one way tickets. So think about it, $15 or $25 going and then 15 or $25 coming back. Um, the early bird option automatically assigns passengers boarding positions. 12 hours before Southwest standard online check-in begins. So you can get better boarding position if you get that early board, early bird check in. So I, I think that this is something that, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's worth it. Um, the question is, what is the pricing going to look like? That's, that's, that's all I could really say. What is the pricing? Um, <laughs> James says, um, flying to Southwest, to come see you guys. Come on, man. Come on down to the uh, ATL. We're looking forward. Come on, jump that flight from California all the way down to the south. Um, the last time you were here, I want to say it was 2014, 2013 or something like that. Come on back to Atlanta, James. Um, we ain't going to be in no clubs this time. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> we <laughs> James, we won't be in no, we won't be in any clubs this time. I, I, we've outgrown the clubs. That's all I can say. Um, with that being said, uh, anybody have any comments or any thoughts on um, this, so we can discuss a little bit more, or we can keep moving on? Um, I'd love your thoughts on um, what Southwest is doing, and um, do you like it? Put in the comments. Is this a good situation? Would you pay for the Want to Get Away Fair Plus? I would like to know. Well, let, let us know. Is this something that you would uh, consider or would you just stick with the cheapest fare that's out there? Um, I, I put in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I definitely would like to know how you feel about that situation. All right. Um, with that being said, let me see if I can find that new one there. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, go ahead, put it in the comments and let me know what you think. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Yeah. Um, so James said he's going to get on it. Hey, Walena, how you doing? She says, I love it. We flying somewhere. I don't know. Come on, Walena. Where you going? Where you going, Walena? Ow. I need to know. Come on, help me out. Tell me what's going on, Rich Vibes. I see you. Um, two days in a row. That's what's up. Welcome to the, to the lab tech show. Um, and it's just in time, believe it or not, because... Hey everybody, The Lab Tech Show is on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Check us out. You know why? It's one of the hottest shows on YouTube. That's right. It's one of the hottest shows. Like, subscribe, tell a friend about what's going on. We're talking tech news and we're breaking it down in a language that you understand. Come on now. Y'all know y'all don't really know this tech. And I'm just trying to give you four stories every week and just explain it to you in a language that you understand. So why not tell somebody about it and we can all learn together. Follow us, YouTube. Come on, I got 103 followers. Will you subscribe? That's all I'm asking. Just hit that red button that says subscribe. Hit the bell so you can get the notifications. It's live every week, all right? Almost every week, something like that. Anyway, it's the Lab Tech Show. Follow us, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All right, guys, uh, that was a live read. So that's what we do. Just try to have a little fun with it. Um, for the ones who are looking for other content on YouTube, check this out. Oh, you know what? Since Rich Vibes is here checking us out live, why not check out Rich Vibes? He's live every Sunday if you're on the East Coast, 2 p.m. If you're on the West Coast, 11 a.m. And if you're in the UK, 7 p.m. All right. So Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. every Sunday night. 11 a.m. Um, if you're on the West Coast and he's streaming live on Mixcloud.com um, slash live rich vibes. All right. So this man plays his music and he can go R&B. He can go blues. He can go jazz. He can go pop country. You name it. You give him a request. Rich vibes finds a way to blend it in. I have challenged him with all the R&B, with all the rap, with all the blues, and he literally finds a way to blend it in with his normal set. So Rich Vibes, you are the man. I definitely want to give you your props. Check him out. When you can't go come to the party, the party comes to you, and it's all live on Mixcloud.com, all right? Also, my man, Matt Haas. He has a show called All Things YouTube where he does news, channel reviews, and tips. So basically, if you want to grow your YouTube channel, by all means, check it out. All Things YouTube, Matt Haas, every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, you can learn any and everything you want about YouTube. All right. I mean, it's a pretty hot show. I mean, he breaks it down. I mean, he gives you tips and he's doing his thing. Um, do you like the iron? <laughs> what this guy does his name is paul weber and literally he wants you just to join his live steams not streams steams every sunday at 12 noon eastern 9 a.m pacific the man literally irons his clothes and he talks about whatever is going on in his world or in whatever is in your world so uh, you can catch him ironing a pair of briefs pants shirts i don't know i i i, I if y'all got a question, just follow him. Check him out. It's called Iron, Ironing Man Paul. Also, Paul does something else called All Things Audio, Love Audio Productions. Um, basically, if you're interested in anything audio related, you want to know how to make your microphone sound good, what's the best board or anything like that. Well, check out Paul Weber on Monday. I'm not sure what that 8 p.m. UK time is, but uh, I think it's a... Let's see. It might be three o'clock. So it might be 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, if I'm correct. And then lastly, um, we have the Kessel Chat. Um, check them out if you like Star Wars. I'm not a Star Wars guy, but these guys are. And if you guys love Star Wars, know anything about Star Wars, or just want to just challenge them with Star Wars, these guys will break it down in a language that 
only Star Wars and Yoda would understand. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, every Thursday night at midnight or Friday morning at midnight, Thursday night at 9 p.m. It's called the Kessel Chat. That's just what it is. All right, so uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, my man Rich Vibes, he says, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm glad to catch you, bro. So basically, Rich Vibes, I think it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, his time in the UK, and he's literally up watching us. So I definitely, he's definitely um, very appreciative of you watching the tech show tonight. Um, as Tammy said, I love his mixes. Um, and then, uh, he told me the time was correct. So yeah, check out rich vibes and, uh, ironing man, Paul, he's also in London as well. These are all solid shows. I'm not going to put anything on this channel that I do not think is right, but I know that these guys have invested every last one of these shows I've watched. Um, I've critiqued and they have found ways to make me better with this tech show because they do their tech, uh, they do their streams, and uh, that's just basically what it is. We just support one another. All right. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our next story of the evening. Um, basically, we have Google Photos. That's right. Google Photos uh, has a rival, and I don't think that you guys really know that they have some competition because Google Photos is automatically built into our phones, and we don't really pay it any mind, right? So with that being said, um, let me see, is that it? Nope, that's not it. Um, I'm doing something. There we go. There it is. Um, so Google Photos is, um, let's see what we have here. Google Photos, where did you go? Um, Google Photos, basically when you take a photo, it automatically saves to, the, to your phone. Well, unfortunately, um, last year, Google Photos and James and I, when we hosted the show together, they capped the unlimited photos last year. And they say once you go over um, one terabyte, then they automatically are going to start charging you. Well, guess what? Uh, you can get unlimited photo and video cloud storage plus one terabyte for everything else um with this new company called iDrive. That's right. iDrive Photos. Um basically um iDrive has added a new feature that makes it even more attractive offer for those looking to move away from Google Photos. Um you can check out their review on this article. So what I did was I put the review or excuse me, I put all articles if you're interested in any of these articles that I put they're in the description of the YouTube channel, all right? So of the excuse me, of the YouTube video here. So um if you guys want to go back or if you want to read the story as we're talking about it, you can literally go back or excuse me, scroll down and you can actually click on the actual video. And when you click on the video, um, excuse me, the description, you can actually watch or read along as we go with the article. OK, so I hope I said that right. The article is in the description of the video or of the YouTube description of this video, shall I say. And then you can uh, watch there. Um, so basically for just under a dollar for the first year. And basically, let's see, a dollar for the first year. And then $10 after, um, you get unlimited cloud storage for all your photos and videos on your mobile plus on your phone, on your cell phone, plus one terabyte of cloud storage for your PC or Mac. Y'all heard me. I said, hold up. I said on your PC or your Mac. So $1 for the first year, $10 after that, you get unlimited cloud storage for all photos all videos and you can add clouds up to one terabyte of cloud storage for your pc or mac now this is a great deal um google opted to bring its free unlimited backup plan for photos to an end last year and basically iDrive said we're gonna go a different way iDrive also claims that iDrive photos is the world's fastest mobile backup and it basically uh, screams about its compatibility with iOS and Android. Hold up. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Um, 
basically there's no windows or mac client but will but you will be able to access your photos from any web browser all files are uploaded at the at the original resolution and there's no file size limits Ow. i'm trying to tell y'all this is something that look i drive photos literally look it up i drive photos see if it's something that you want quite naturally i i i would easily tell you or i would say to you um don't uh don't let go of your google photos test this while you're doing it and then if it's something that you're interested in then by all means you know you go with it if this is something that you think is um if you think it's something that's worth it all right um it's got an extremely affordable price tag it's ease of use and simplicity um are also commendable users are able to easily share photos and videos from the app and access any files using a timeline view so basically that timeline view is like facebook when you just scroll up your timeline so basically today is april 6th tomorrow's april 7th so it will work from april 7th all the way down um so no different from you using facebook you can always go and see your photos based off of the date that you found them on okay um, so hopefully that's something that you guys like, and, um, this is something that's definitely different because like I said, it's unlimited and, uh, there we go. Did I do it right? There, there we go. Um, it's something that's unlimited and I think I'm doing that right. There we go. Yeah. Um, other features uh, has an auto upload feature to ensure your media is backed up each time and every time and every time and now it's made even better by the fact that it offers one terabyte of cloud storage on top of that. So this is this is pretty amazing. And what I mean by that is now I mean, you already have your video, you already have you already have your photos, but anything else like it could be files. I mean, what else do you need that's over a ter? I mean, that would take up a terabyte. So all your Word documents, your important documents, your driver's license, your passport. Well, that that would be photos. But I mean, what else would you actually need? I mean, to back up. I mean, maybe um, some programs or something like that. As far as the competitors are concerned, um, they have other cloud storage programs that are out there, but I mean, they all have some type of tier where it's going to be over $10. Um, but most likely be a worthy alternative as long as users can live with its only limitation that you have to use a mobile device for the upload. So basically if you take a picture on your phone or if you email yourself, download the photo to your phone and then upload it, then it will save as opposed to you trying to uh, drag it and drop it from your computer. All right. Um, Amazon Prime, um, they have uh, five gigs of video storage included with their subscription. If you have an Amazon Prime account, um, but you can pay upwards of eighteen hundred dollars a year for 30 terabytes of cloud storage on Amazon Photos. And then Flickr Pro also offers unlimited storage with the cheapest plan costing about one hundred and seventeen dollars or one hundred and eighteen dollars for twenty four months. So, like I said, I think that this is a great situation um, because for ten dollars you're getting unlimited photos. And the only caveat is you have to use your phone, which most of us are using our phones anyway. Right. So why not? Um, let me see. Um, nine dollars a year after that. She said, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Um, 99 cents for the first year. You're right, Lisa Maria. So like I said, I drive photos, look them up, see if it's worth it. Uh, like I said, I know we all know Google photos, right? We all feel comfortable with Google photos, but at the end of the day, once you hit that cap, they're going to tell you pay a dollar 99. Then after a dollar 99 is going to be Two ninety nine, and then after two ninety nine, I think it jumps up to nine ninety nine. So I mean, <laughs> I'm already deleting stuff that I don't need, right? I'm already deleting that, and it's like, oh, do I really need that photo? 
no, I really don't. So since I don't need it, I just delete it and it's all well. Whereas this one, I can use unlimited as long as I'm using my mobile phone. So it's iDrive Photos. Keep that in mind. And uh, if you guys are interested, go look it up and uh, just make sure you read the terms and conditions. And if it's something that you like, you go from there. All right. Um, let's see um, your thoughts. Let me know. Um, would you try it? Mama D, let me know. Rich Vibes, what about you? You're a DJ. Um, you can upload, um, well, this may hurt you, Rich Vibes, because you're uploading music. So you can only store one terabyte of music, right? You're a DJ. You have your music. It says one terabyte of video and uh, photos. But if you upload music after you get to that terabyte, then that's where you might have an issue. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is, um, something that you're interested in. All right. Um, with that being said, are you looking for new content? Have you cut the cord? Weekly episodes every week on Roku and Amazon fire. Do you have one? Why don't you download the channel TBE media? That's right. It's on Roku and it's on Amazon fire. Check it out. I know you got a fire stick. I know you got a Roku. Just check out the channel. This show will be on there, all right? You cut the cord. You said the cable is expensive. Why not? Great content, something to watch, and I keep it interesting. And it's fresh. We have a cooking show. I'm looking for new content. The tech show. And then also I have an old school Tuesday turn up with R&B artists so that's the content that's out there now but it's weekly episodes all right so if you're interested download the channel it's called TBE Media it's on Roku and it's on Amazon Fire hopefully you'll check it out TBE Media all right so with that being said we have one more story and this is quite interesting um I I was caught off guard with this one and I thought that it was, uh, um, she said, I'll look into it. I love my family pics. <laughs> That's what's up. Mama D. She said, I love my family pics. All right. So this next story, it caught me off guard. And, uh, what I mean by that is, um, how many people go to the library? That's right. I said, how many people go to the library? The U S libraries will let you borrow Chromebooks with internet hotspots that's right internet hotspots you can now go to the library and maybe someone that does not have a computer or um need a chromebook or something along those lines you can now go and use um theirs and you can also use their hotspots i'm not making this up um let's read the story and we will discuss okay um, let's break this down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Over the past decade, libraries have worked to keep up with the times and offer more services than just physical material. And basically they've done eBooks, audiobooks, and access to subscription services and much more. And now they're adding, um, Oh, they offered in branch uh, desktop computers, print jobs, and also free Wi-Fi. I remember those days. Oh, yes, I do. Um, Hold up. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't got time to be sitting there driving to the, wi uh, to the library using their free Wi-Fi. Um, another growing trend sees that library offers Chromebooks that patrons can, just like books, borrow for weeks at a time. And this is meant to ensure that connectivity is available um, to all and aid in closing the digital divide that exists. Um, why are libraries using Chrome um, operating systems? Um, basically, not all the library systems use Chromebooks when setting up computer borrowing programs, but a lot of them do, and the other popular device in use is the iPad. Um, basically, Harris County, Texas, the public library system turned 
to 15,000 Chromebook citing security, affordability, and functionality. And on the latter point, this particular system needed to administer devices with only about 10 IT members, most of whom are already busy in the field. So basically they're saying, I don't have time to work out the problems or the kinks. This is something that can be pretty much done um, or used and it's not a big deal. And um, basically they're just saying, hey, let's do it. So basically, how does it work? Um, specifics differ by the city, but uh, most have found to include borrowing periods that are measured in weeks, if not months, and more times than not come with internet access via hotspots. And in terms of logistics, the Chromebooks are automatically wiped, factory reset um, between users, while they automatically lock and see their internet service disabled if they are not returned by the due date. So basically, you check out the Chromebook, and once you return it, they wipe everything clean before they check it out to somebody else. Um, and then libraries will charge patrons for any hardware damage incurred while signing an agreement uh, form, uh, which is often involved. So they're not going to just let you get the Chromebook and you walk out of there without signing something. OK, but these are the following libraries um, where you can borrow Chromebooks. So if you put your city or you put your um uh, excuse me, put your state in, we'll check you out. So we know California right now, if you look um, right here, let's see if I can bring it down. If you're in California, if you live in one of those counties, you're good to go. Well, actually, I'll bring it all the way down to um, California, all the way down to Georgia. Now, let me break this down to you real quick. I called the library here. I called both counties um, that's in Georgia. So if you live in one of these two counties in Georgia, I asked, um, how does the process work? One county told me that it was uh, one week for the Chromebooks, whereas another county said three weeks for the Chromebooks and the hotspot. Um, now, remember, each county or each state has their own set of rules. Um, you get you have to sign a contract statement of responsibility. Um, you have to return it to the library that you received it at. And it's a dollar per day if it's not returned on time, up to seven dollars and fifty cents. Um, if you damage it or not return, you will be charged three hundred and fifty dollars. That will go onto your library account, and you can't rent out any books or rent out any of their other services um, if you do not return it. No deposit is required for the Chromebook or the hotspot. Um, you can call, and they will hold it for one hour. That's right. One hour they will call and they will hold it for you. OK, um, you get three weeks for the hotspot and it cannot be renewed or reserved. So basically you can only have them hold it for one hour and that's it. And basically you cannot um, check out on the same day of the return. So basically what that means is you bring it back on Tuesday. You have to wait till Wednesday to check it out. Um, when I went on um, one of the library's websites, the the countywide website, I had to look up Verizon and it told me all the data, excuse me, all the hotspots that were available. And with that being said, they said that they had um, 191 hotspots at all of their branches. So they were split up about eight to 10 hotspots per per branch. All right. Um, you must be um, 18. Um, there is a $94 replacement if you don't return, excuse me, $100 for the replacement if you don't return the hotspot. So it's $94 and a $6 processing fee, and it will be deactivated if you don't return the hotspot, and it will also be deactivated if you don't return, um, they will brick the Chromebook if you don't return the Chromebook, all right? Um, let me see. There's no Microsoft Office on the device, but if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you can literally um, log in using that. Um, but I think it has the standard USB ports to where you can plug in your mouse or you can plug in your external hard drive or something like that, and you can get onto the internet. Um, but it does not have Microsoft Office on the computer. Um, but they have the Google services that you can use for free. Um, as far as the Wi-Fi hotspot, it had unlimited data. 
That's right. Unlimited data at 5G. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can renew it up to three times based on the demand. So one library told me you get it for one week. And if no one's not asking for it, you can renew it up to three times based on the demand. But another library said you can just get it for three weeks for the Chromebook. Um, Chromebook and the hotspot. So basically, um, I showed you all of these states that have it. And basically, let's go down and look at some of the other states. So if you're in one of these states here, um, see if it uh, if you fall into that category. And as you fall into that category, if you live in one of those counties, you uh, need a hotspot or you need a Chromebook, you can uh, check one out at no cost outside of just returning it. OK, so um, this is absolutely free, guys. And basically, they're just trying to close the gap on the digital divide. All right. Um, uh, Mama D says they're using this system because the school system is on Chromebooks now. You're right. Um, this is good information to know. So basically, you have kids. Summer vacation is coming is coming up. This is something that you can think about of saying, you know what? I want to challenge the kids to learn. Um, but then think about it. What if you need a hotspot? You're going out of town. Don't lose it, but you can connect up to 15 devices with the hotspots and it's 5G and it's absolutely free. So if you live in one of these, well, everyone lives in a state outside of Rich Vibes. Um, but um, look at see if this is if it falls in one of your counties. And if it does. This is just a great resource to know and a great resource to have. All right. So if it's something that you're interested in, by all means, call your local library up and say, do you have any available? What's the process? But what I got out of it is um, you can get it for three weeks. You sign that contract um, a statement of responsibility. Um, there's no deposit. Um, you cannot check out on the same day on the return. So you have to wait literally 24 hours before you can check it out. They highly recommend for you to call it, call in and see if they have one available and ask them to hold it for one hour. You must be 18 and it's a hundred dollars for a replacement of the hotspot, $350 for the replacement of the Chromebook. All right. So if this is something that you're interested in, you know, a family, you know, a kid that might need it. Um, this is just a great resource that's out there um, that you can take advantage of absolutely free. All right. So this is absolutely free. Anybody can take advantage of it and uh, it's yours for the taking. All right. Um, Lisa Maria says, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty hot. That's all I can really tell you. Um Will you be renting one out anytime soon? <laughs> I think most of us have hotspots or have a laptop or a tablet, but I mean, this is a great information to have. Okay. Um, with that being said, this is the lab tech show. And you know, the goal is to basically educate you on tech news and break it down in a language that you understand. Um, we talked about, uh, the willow pump for the ones who are, uh, know someone that has a baby. Um, look up Willow Go or look up Willow Pump and then I think it's called the Willow Go um, with no wires. So basically um, you can breastfeed um, instead of you having the breast pump in the room, you can literally take it and put it inside of your bra and put it and then I think it carries up to 14 ounces. So seven ounces on each side. Um, but go do your research on it. Um, and like I said, I think your insurance company will deal with it. Uh, we'll also cover it. Hertz is doing uh, rental companies uh, where they're doing um, electric vehicles with the Polestar. And then also Southwest Airlines is um, allowing you to do the Want to Get Away Plus, uh, where you can now transfer flight credits to someone else. Um, and then you can also do early bird uh, flights. So if you pay for a flight at for 2 p.m. and you want to see if you can get on a flight earlier, you if you purchase the one away one getaway plus plan, you can use that one and um, you can jump on an earlier flight without paying a fair difference. 
Um, and then Google Photos has some competition with iDrive Photos. Look that up. And then lastly, the U.S. libraries. All right. Um, take advantage of it. Maybe you may know a family. You may know some kids that may need this. Um, or you may need it and uh, just share it. That's pretty much it. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we will be back live next Wednesday. And um, that's pretty much it. It's the Lab Tech Show. I thank everybody for hanging out with me. And uh, I truly appreciate it. With that being said, y'all stay blessed. I'll talk to y'all soon. I didn't even get none of my drink today. So I'm about to drink now. Y'all be good.